Well, I figured let's let's do another one of these videos. I've got another another piece of coastal here that is just gorgeous. I mean, come on now. It's got purples and clear and a little bit of blue, and a lot of it'll turn clear white and red when it's heated. But let's ball this thing out. Let's see what we're working with. Look at that little little jet out right there. Let's see. Let's see if we can hit that. Might not do anything, but I figured I'd try. I think it will though. If I can hit it. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I guess it is purple. It's got a little orange here too. All right, okay, it's a keeper. This is some more coastal from Alabama. A lot of you have seen the coastal I worked that's from Georgia. It is a lot different. I think this was actually from the tab video, by the way. Pretty sure. It's a lot different. Um, but this one has more variety, more color. I shouldn't say more variety, um, but definitely more colors. And if you can expose those colors in your rock, you'll have some really pretty, pretty points. My goodness, look at that. Gosh, those stripes, that purple. That is beautiful. Let's see what length we're working at here. Okay, six and a half, might be six and a quarter, six inches when it's done, but that's nice. All right. Honestly, I love the colors of this face here, but our length is gonna be somewhere in between. I have to trim this edge here, that corner there. Might go ahead and do that. It's got to come out anyways, no matter what. I always hit the no matter what strikes if you can first, assuming you can get a good flake from it. And it helps you in your process. In this case, we're not really getting a good flake. We're just helping ourselves out more than anything. Just a little bit. Hard to do much with the Cortex. Okay, this is kind of an odd platform. It's not low enough typically for me. See right here. So I might have to strike down and then strike again. We'll see, or strike across and then strike back. Just to see what we're working with. Good coastal, just need to get past the cortex. Looks like it already ran, so this might be a flop of a flake here. Ooh, no it wasn't. Look at the colors on that. Purple. It's a good spot. Okay. Let me, before I forget, plug my phone in. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so many, so many times I've forgotten to plug that in and it's lost quite a bit of footage. Let's see if I can create a little platform over here. Create a little convexity, see if I can blow past some of this low, low area. Um, making my platform more straight up and straight up and down. Because I want it to blow past this dip. There's a dip in the stone, I'll show you. Also, I'm not gonna be isolating this because I want it to be a wide flake. And also notice how much meal we abraded too. 
quite a bit. There's our dip right here. And let's let's see if we can get a wide flake. Uh, maybe catch a little bit of the side, hopefully. Might not be able to do anything. Depends on what the inside of this rock looks like. I'm thinking it'll be a good flake, but we'll see. Okay, it didn't catch any of the other side, I don't think. But we were able to, because of that dip, sometimes it can crack into two pieces. Ooh, it held together. Wow. Oh my goodness. Gosh, that is gorgeous. Y'all see what I'm seeing with these lines in there? I mean, come on. That is just insane. That should be a thumbnail. Put this like right there. And that'll be a, that'll be a good thumbnail. I'll show you these flakes at the end too. Make sure to not mix them up with the flakes I did on the previous video. Okay. And when this heats, when this heats up, it's just gonna. Oh, it'll be beautiful. Okay. So it didn't really catch the the other side. Looks like it kind of stalled out. You see that? Now, technically. You can just hit down right there. We got plenty of length to do that, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Where's my? Oh, there it is. We'll catch this lip. Pretend like we overshot it, anyways. It'll lose quite a bit of our width, but it was needed because look at all that, that thick area right there. Some dendrites. That little light blue seam in there. Yeah, that'll help us out in the long term. Get rid of some of the cortex. All right, let's see what we got. Now, ideally, I'd like to hit like right there, you know? That would be awesome. So let's make it happen. Ooh, look at the dendrites. Look at that. Hopefully you can see them. They're right in through here. Man, it's gorgeous. Right up against the cortex there. It's probably, no, it's not a cute flake, but it's pretty. All right, I think we revealed enough stone. Well, it's, it's best to be safe, I guess. I don't want to hit down again and remove more width, really. Let's, let's see if that'll work. Let's see, let's see if we can do, do something with this. Might just absolutely fail, but it was a valiant effort by us. Oh yeah, I think, hopefully, let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So broke the area where we stroke, but able to cross the bridge, so to say. For a lot of you who, who struggle with humps like that, really all you wanna do is, you know, you use any bopper you want to. Uh, quick sidebar here is not the lighting situation. It's in my face. I don't want it in my face. Okay. Uh, is number one, try to figure out your 
Is that too harsh of lighting? I can't tell. I'll just, I'll just do it like that. All right, figure out where your length is or where you think the most chance of having a point is. For me, it's gonna be right in through here. And so I'll take the other part and I'll bevel it, which it doesn't include the point or the area where I think the point should go. And notice this coastal does work really, really well raw. You heat it up, it works fantastic. And so the, the area in which your point is not gonna be, you just make a big bevel. You abrade. And then watch me, not knowing this is raw, it might not work, but you can begin to, to cut off that thick edge. And if this angle doesn't work, come at it from a different or better angle to try to cut over it, cut around, and then come from this edge and then shoot over it. Anyways. Turn it like that. What are we gonna do with this thing? Well, a little bit of mass here that needs to come off. Can do that in a couple ways. And mass here that needs to come off too. You know what, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do that first. So this is where we just struck right there. Got a good uh, ridge to follow right here. And it needs to come off because we see our center line is way up yonder. But really all we're gonna be hitting is Cortex. So I guess we do have to set up a little something. And I'm okay with that. Even, even if we hit mostly Cortex here, I think maybe this will be blunt enough where it'll work out anyways. Let's, let's see. Get our mallet. We got our mallet from Neolithics.com, I think. Oof. We caught it. Ran the ridge. Now, flakes like this, if you're looking to sell or something like that, uh, be careful with these little shells. You know, uh, sometimes you can get away with these little boogers in there, but. You know, I try to trim that out. Honestly, this one's more manageable than others, but just something to be be careful of. Let's see if I can wrap this back edge. Probably not. I'm gonna run it into some cortex. But just for kicks and giggles. And it ran into the cortex, but at least we cleared it out. Okay. We can honestly take another flake here. There we go. We exposed some rock right there. But we had to, you know? We had to. This will probably want to overshoot. Don't mind if it overshoots a little bit, just hopefully it doesn't break our piece in half. Oh, this isn't a good angle either. Oddly enough. Did what we wanted to though, it wrapped. What I mean by the angle is uh, that, that mallet is a bit wide. Sometimes striking your platform correctly can be tough. Let's go again here. Again, not, ooh, not great, but yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> not great, just doing cleanup duty right now. Hire me as a janitor. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Should have braided that too, okay. That's what I get for our braiding. 
but let's see how we want to continue this point or this big hunk of rock. Good flick. This is where our little boo boo is up here. And you know what? If we end up losing our lane, so be it. I want to get rid of this thing. And we got rid of the, the nastiness, so. Mission accomplished. And didn't lose too awful much. By the way, for y'all wondering in the video, uh, I probably won't be selling this piece, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some of the flakes probably, yeah. Not the, not this one. Also, I'm supposed to have a treat at the end of every video for you guys. Like something to show. What do I have to show? Do I have anything to show? Maybe I do. Maybe so. Ooh, that's something I can show you. I have something I can show you. You know, over the three years of me napping, four years, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Time, time passes. It's been over four years now. Uh, I learn a lot and I've collected a lot. And we've got some coastal I think y'all be interested in seeing. These are setup flakes, by the way. If you're curious. It smells like someone's cooking some steak or barbecue. I wonder where my invite was. Still not great. No, that's too. It's too. It's too flat. You know, for for a bopper. We gotta fix it. Coming from the side. Look at there. Now we're cooking. Not steaks. But these platforms. Cooking up these platforms. You know, I was afraid that it would break this piece in half, but it did. It did exactly what I wanted to. Let me, let me break it down for you. All right, so obviously we set up this platform. We hit, and you can already see what it did, but hit here, here, and then the angle of this wasn't right, so we fixed the angle. And that's interesting. Those are the like the secondary flakes. Sometimes you get an extra secondary flake and ran right across and caught that thick edge so I've got a good spawn ooh it's pretty you know I keep saying that but it's spectacular coastal this is not how all coastal looks my friends excuse me Honestly, I kind of want to stop sometime soon. Not because I'm smelling the steak, but because I want a, a chance to heat this appropriately. And... Make this into the best point I've made, you know? Which is always the goal, is to do your best. I'm gonna have to come in from the base anyways. I wanna make that strike. So let me, let's set that up. I wanna strike into here, follow that ridge. Uh, we gotta come in from the base. We also have thickness. So gotta get rid of our thickness, but also 
set up a platform and see if we can do both. Cortex there. Well, couldn't do too much, but all right, let's try not to wrap this thing like I want to do. Oftentimes, we have a or the more blunt your edge is, the more chance you have to overshoot. Just throw that in there. Ooh. Missed first strike. Just caught it on the second. Luckily, this stone is so dense it can take a beating. I just love the swirls in this. Hopefully, y'all can appreciate it. As most of you know, if you know me, I'm not bragging. I just, just love this material. Okay, didn't quite catch what I wanted to, but it'd be all right. Ooh, it even gets some of that milky uh, stuff there in the middle. Just a little more whitish. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll stop here in a second. Let's catch that hand first. Or part of it. And if we don't catch the hens, we're just going to stop and heat treat it first. No, we caught it. Yeah, we caught it. Okay. So that was that kind of milky seam right there. Honestly, I might as well stop here. Yeah, that's a, that's a good stopping point. Didn't want to hurt that edge, so figured out to braid it off. Your braider can do a lot of wonderful things, guys. And one of these days, I'm gonna make a really nice video on how to braid appropriately and properly. To so know which direction to go, because, you know, when I first learned, people would say, oh, you braid one way. Oh, you, you braid the other. It's like, well, no. It's different in every single case. Every case is different. Here, I wouldn't want to braid down. That's just absurd. I want to braid it. But I think it's just a way of communicating it. You know, uh, like for this platform there, if I want to strike back on that ridge, you could do down, but my platform would be very flat. And honestly, it wouldn't be too bad, but if I want to make the platform a little bit more blunt or a little bit more flat, I can always try to change that to get the flake that I'm looking for. And a flake that'll wrap too. So it's, it's just a, a thing of learning over the years. Okay, we're gonna stop. Look at that thing. How gorgeous is that? Okay. All right, now let me get these, these spalls here. I know you wanna see them. Hopefully you can appreciate what this looks like. This light is gonna fall on me. Bear with me, guys. Okay. Ah, just a little flake. That's a nice one. And that one. Let's see. We got a bunch of smaller ones, though.
quite a bit of really small ones. Yeah, I'm sure there's a, a small or two I'm missing. Oh, quite a few on this side too. Even from the last video, whoops. Well, anyways, it's a small flakes. Some are pretty decent. But, uh, all right, we're gonna put these down. And gotta figure out what I wanna show you. Thinking about showing you a couple pieces of coasting. So how about y'all fast forward this video about 10 seconds. I'm gonna get up, go get some of my coastal and come right back. So fast forward like 10, 20 seconds until you see me again. I'm giving you the opportunity to skip. Which most people say, stay for the video. Stay as long as you want. Well, I got my headphones in, so you can still hear me. This is best of the best. All right, it, it doesn't get any better. So you, you probably won't be getting pieces like th this in your box. You'll get stuff similar, but uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about box-wise, go back, look at the last part of my last video. This is some of my best coastal guys that has been heated. All of it's heated and it has these little dots, pink little dots. That's the vanilla ice cream. Here's the strawberry, strawberry ice cream. I don't think I've even flaked into these. They're they're glossy, obviously. This was a low grade piece, but it comes out with good good gloss. Real good. Uh, also, some can come out orange peach you know just like this uh well i don't want to show you well I'll, I'll show you a plate okay this is some coral but this is coastal now you can also get darker coral too this is some coastal and you can see the rice grains in the material you also have like one or two holes but i kept this because it's pretty and i'm gonna work it eventually make it into something nice let's see what else do I got to show you? This is some uh, material Louis Garcès found and was able to get one or two of his last pieces. But this is, like I said, this is some of the best of the best, okay? So don't be like, hey, where can I find here, here it is, you know? Okay. Now we're getting into some of the, some of the swirl and ice cream, the various colors. This one I need to flake into. Well, I flaked into it right there, I guess, but nowhere else. But you start getting these crazy colors. And uh, you see the rice grains in that, they're blue. Haven't flaked into this yet. Let me see. Let me take a flake, just for you. Taking it on the worst spot possible, but see it runs right over. Let's 
this wall. It's like Flint Ridge. Okay, then I got a couple more. Uh, four more. Here's one that has a, a shell in it, but it's like nearly unnoticeable and won't cause any problems. Coastal. This one I worked in a previous video. This is, I mean, it is just as fragile as it gets, but it flakes great. It'll turn out to a really good point. Um, and you can see all the, all the rice grains scattered throughout. It's just, it's crazy. Uh, two more. This is more of that red swirl there. And this is just a strawberry ice cream. Swirls, looks like um, uh, if you're familiar with pinhead coral, it's kind of got that same kind of pinstripe kind of doings. Anyways, I thought y'all would really enjoy that. Uh, coastal can heat up to a lot of really pretty colors. And I'm excited for this this chunk here. There's other other spalls, but uh, appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the last few uh, minutes of this, showing you some of these spalls. And uh, if you didn't, uh, you can tell me in the comments. <laughs> but I want to do something at the end of every video to kind of give you a treat for watching. So. Uh, all right. Appreciate y'all. Take care.